What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Az. We are back here uh, with another one. And uh, as promised, uh, I'm going to try to do a one-shot here for No. 12. And again, I think this is one that everyone knows. Uh, you can't really go in um, with a half... Uh, a half built team uh pretty much uh the only way it seems like is running a full symbiote squad uh for the guys that have uh four characters um these ones are a little bit uh it's it's misleading because uh even though they deal the same amount of damage as a uh, clearing one that has five symbiotes like here um doesn't necessarily mean they cleared it um i ran i ran four symbiotes in the first go around and i got to emma frost and then basically when you get to Emma Frost, it basically becomes like a stalemate. And you're basically just attacking her. And you can pretty much actually cap the damage out there if you can't kill the Emma Frost. Because basically she just heals so much. And uh, hopefully you guys can get a... Hopefully if we get far enough here, uh, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. But let's jump in here. So anyways, uh, the team I'll be using will be a 5 symbiote squad. But if you guys don't have uh, 5 symbiotes and uh, you guys want to figure out what which ones you want to prioritize on definitely for sure you want to prioritize uh, spidey and anti-venom for sure those are two you have to have if you want to clear this one out um, because you need you need the stun to stop emma frost and then of course uh sim, you know anti-venom is going to offer that the healing and the revive so you can't do it without those two and then um this is where it gets a little funky where you can kind of uh go budget mode so budget mode means uh, you know you go for the cheapest which is scream which is a great choice and uh, she offers a lot of utility for this note as well and then of course uh if you don't have enough materials for the other symbiotes um night nurse is a great one because a she's part of that shadowland team uh she's been reworked and actually she's pretty good she's pretty good i think a lot of people argue like you know is she a waste of materials and um actually i i find that she's quite useful for what she brings to the table because she is a skilled character um, she uses a unique as well that doesn't really compete with other people the um, the Oz formula or whatever it's called and of course as well um, there isn't too many skilled characters like uh, for example uh, we have uh, Baron Zemo and Black Widow on the global nodes and then other than that um, uh, most people or some people go Proxima as well and uh, and she's also quite good for the cosmic but now we've got Silver Surfer we've got Castro, we've got you know we've got Hela, we got all these other characters, and again, uh, it's a skilled material. So I mean, probably one of the reasons why people go Punisher and uh, Night Nurse. But anyways, we're gonna go in here quickly with four people just to kind of give you guys a gist of what's going on here, and just to show you guys, um, you know, just to show you guys. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so we're gonna jump back out here because uh, Symbiote Spidey died. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go in here with four, and uh, it's just just to kind of demonstrate to you guys. People are always asking me. Uh, is Scream a good choice uh, versus Venom or Carnage? And yeah, I think she's a great choice. And I just want to kind of show you guys why. Uh, it's just especially for that initial first attack. Uh, it might require a little bit of RNG action uh, just to kind of get the right momentum going. But for sure, she is a great character uh, for this node. And hopefully uh, Symbiote Spidey lives this time. So that's great. She does live. Unfortunately, she's pretty much... Uh, she doesn't have any heals, so that's going to suck. Anyways, we're going to stun uh, Miss Marvel here. And then this is kind of where it's important where we land uh, the Scream Ultimate to kind of bring a little bit of... Um, gives us a little bit of leeway to kind of get things going here. And I think that's kind of why uh, she's really, really good. Um, so that's kind of re one of the reasons why I think she's really great. Especially if you want to do an initial good starting attack on this wave. And as you guys see here, um, she is quite flimsy, which is the crappy thing. So that's the only crappy thing about that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, the special there to give, kind of give health back to uh, to anti venom. And again, like we're not gonna we're not we're not gonna play this through, right? There's obviously we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not. We, we, I've tried this a lot of times, and it's a very difficult node. And even for me, I had to use four symbiotes as my starting wave, and I think even then, it was brutal. But as you guys can see here, you know this this hopefully gives you guys an idea here. Uh, Scream can get the job done. It's just, you know, it's not going to be like a, uh, easy one shot. I think even with four symbiotes, I ran these four symbiotes the first time and it took me 10 attacks. So, I mean, it's, it's not going to be easy, but it's, it's going to take time. And now, um, now a lot of other people ask me about Venom. Is he a good choice? And I'll just show you guys quickly here. Yeah, he's, he's expensive. And, uh, I would say... He's also a good choice if you're choosing between him or Scream. I'd probably go with Scream first on your first run. That's what I would recommend. 
and again hopefully they do the same a similar attack pattern so i can show you guys why uh, i would pick screen but but yeah again oh shoot um again symbiote spidey dies but you guys can already see here yeah it's a it's a nasty it's a nasty 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 node uh you know what we're gonna do we're gonna put scream there and then we're gonna put night nurse on the side there but yeah it's a nasty node and uh i i um i feel for anybody that's starting on these ones i did not enjoy this node at all and i would say it's probably the hardest node in the game harder than any node in uh, dark dimension 3 and 4 combined like it's crazy hard um and again hopefully we get to that stun and if, i don't know what the heck is with the rng right now so we're getting our butts creamed um just want to sh I just want to show an example. I just want to get through the first wave. So so as you guys can see, I'm trying here and uh, and yeah, it's going to take a few tries. Uh, obviously, we got lucky there with Scream. Um, is Carnage a good choice? Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, Carnage is a good fifth one. If 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 you got four characters already and you want to bring him as a fifth, great. But uh, is he is he better than uh, Scream? and uh and venom um i i don't know because uh, you know as you guys can see here hopefully they can show us so night nurse goes down that sucks um as you guys can see here um we're already kind of at a disadvantage because of the rng but um i also want to bring to the fact that uh yeah uh, she doesn't she, uh, venom doesn't have that that uh, reduction in uh turn meter like the way scream does so i mean it does kind of suck there but he does have an ability block and i find that the ability block is actually pretty nice if it lands so obviously we couldn't land it on jj but uh once you get going once you get going and he gets the defense up going um then it actually ends up becoming a pretty decent uh a, a pretty decent attack attempt uh, especially here as you guys can see here uh, we'll get this, we'll get the, we'll get some attacks in for sure um and like i said already uh, i normally in this case it'd be nice if uh, night nurse was alive so she can actually provide a little bit of heals as well but I'm sure as you guys are watching this, um, you guys can realize that, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy hard node. Like, um, Venom is slower and, and kind of clunkier as well. So that's why um, I would say be conservative, be smart, and go for Scream. But as you guys can see here, like, the other attack attempt, I think, I want to say we were quite smoother. Uh, we did get further, I think, too, in terms of damage. And yeah, as you can kind of, you can kind of see here, we're, we're going to get our butts wiped. If I don't exit out here. So we're going to exit out here. And uh, hopefully that gives you guys an idea. Of what it looks like. Uh, with uh, with Venom versus Scream. So I don't know if that helped you guys out. But anyways. Let us put the full roster together. I have no idea. Let's put Scream in the middle here. I feel like that's a better play. And then we'll put Carnage in the middle. But yeah. This is the team we will run with guys. And hopefully this helps you guys out. So let's actually jump in here. Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, first and foremost, we want to make sure we can stun, uh, um, you know what, I think I'm going to go for uh, Star-Lord here, just because he does a lot of damage, uh, AoE-wise, uh, stuns, blinds, all that good stuff, so that's who I'm going for, can't really say if that's the best character here, and then we're going to apply that speed reduction to this group right here, just because we're already kind of in this little big bunch of uh, messes, so that's kind of what we're going here for. And then, of course, now uh, we got Venom here. I, what I want to do here is Ability Block. Hopefully, nope, that did not work. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, we're going we're gonna to stay the course here. And uh, she applies her debuff, which is great for us. Because now we can start uh, doing our thing and spreading some stuff out to the other adjacent characters around there. Um, I think Star-Lord's a good choice because of the fact that he's quite squishy. And he's right beside JJ as well. So by the time he's low enough and we apply Carnage's um, his, his ultimate... Or special or whatever uh you know he can spread it um so we'll spread that now now that jj already used her cleanse so that gives us a little bit of extra a uh, little ump there i'm gonna use the special there like i just said to kind of give us a little jump boom apply the deep buffs um and now fingers crossed i think star lord should basically bleed out if uh if my luck works uh or not okay okay so he survives no big deal okay so we're gonna apply some more bleeds there we're going to hopefully rip that off of Captain America. Thank you very much, Venom. Uh, we're going to just chain attack on JJ, and hopefully that hits and kills Star-Lord. He is bleeding, so I mean, of course, he's low. We're going to keep going for her because she's got a lot of bleeds going on, and that's what exactly what we want. Uh, um, and yeah, yeah, we have the defense up from Venom thanks to his passive. Thank goodness. Uh, otherwise, 
a lot of these guys would be uh, getting one shotted right now. Like, look at this. This is crazy. I mean, uh, Venom's pretty beefy, and he got he got nuked. He got nuked by uh, by Star Lord. Like it was nothing. So I mean, yeah, these are some pretty pretty nasty guys that we are playing up against. We're gonna revive him hopefully. Um, and now they're going for some belt spidey crap. Okay, so JJ's low, which is great for us because as they get lower, we're gonna get that pump from Carnage, get that speed going back up. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've got another, we've got another stun now. I think we're gonna do it to Captain America. Hopefully, he doesn't resist it. And now, uh, yeah, now we got some options. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep applying to JJ here. Yeah, we'll keep applying and hopefully change a couple targets. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this uh, this should actually kind of kill her if it chains back. Okay, and now we've got Miss Marvel. We'll do the double tap there thanks to Venom's, uh, uh, his striker. I always like that. All right. Now Miss Marvel. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, I think, I want to say that's the hard part right there. Uh, Scream's going to control the left side while we take care of the right here. And as you guys can see, uh, we're doing we're doing pretty smooth. We're doing pretty good here. I got the ability block if I want to use it. But uh, from this point on, I mean, we've got lots of chain attacks. We've got lots of health. We've got lots of buffs on us as well. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. I think this should do it for the right side. They should have enough bleeds there now to kind of bleed out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And I'm never really 100% sure. I mean, they, they look like they're close enough, but you just never know, right? Uh, we do have a lot of buffs here on this side as well. We could probably we'd probably give ourselves a little bit of cushion if we wanted. Um, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, yeah, we'll keep applying. We'll keep applying the bleeds. I, I, I like a single target because it has the chance to kind of chain to two more targets. Uh, that's the nice thing there. Yeah, I think what we're going to do here is we're, we're just going to do the ultimate. Give us some buffs. Gives a little bit of cushion. Um, it's just, yeah, like I said, it's more insurance. The next wave is uh, kind of a pain as well because we've got Ironheart who's going to, she's she's kind of, or oh, sorry, excuse me, sorry guys, not Ironheart, uh, Rescue who's kind of annoying because she also brings the barrier and, you know, the regen and all that good stuff. So we'll have to focus on her and then we got X-23 as well. And then once we drop them down to a few characters, Emma Frost and a Carnage and, uh, and uh, Scream, also drop and that's kind of the wave that's really nasty and i i still can't believe uh with you know with the right rng i actually i actually got to emma frost with four symbiotes uh i've tried redoing it but my goodness it is uh i have no idea what kind of luck i had i i feel like as i'm kind of going through dark dimension four the second time here um i feel like uh i feel like they've they've nerfed some of these guys or they've made them stronger or something like i definitely feel it like uh um even when i was going through the global and the cosmic nodes i was thinking okay well how did i how did i one shot it with four guys this time and then i'm using five and uh it to me it felt just as hard like it should be a lot easier if i'm using five characters but but yeah that's how i felt so i don't know if uh i don't know if they somehow shadow buffed it or something but um very very sneaky of them if they did because uh this wouldn't be the first time where they um quietly did a little stealth nerf without telling us and then of course they've already had a ton of bugs lately in the past here so i mean obviously uh, i don't think anybody's happy about that but anyways so we've got uh we've got a couple characters what we can use here and i like this little cluster on the left side here where everybody's kind of grouped because yeah, if you focus on the one character, you can kind of block everybody in that patch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some ability block. Um, we're going to stun rescue as well. I, I find that that's going to be really handy. Um, Venom. Uh, Venom's going to spread all that stuff that's on X-23. So that's what I'm kind of doing here. I'm just applying some stuff here. We're going we're gonna to activate this as well. Reduce the speed on them. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lengthen everything there. Thank you. And now we're gonna spread it all there I, I don't know about you guys, but that looks that looks pretty ugly. I don't know. It looks pretty ugly to me So uh, we're gonna we're gonna apply some more stuff going on here and uh, and of course uh, Before we use the ultimate we're just gonna apply some offense down and now really we're gonna apply these buffs We got the evasion we got death proof got so much stuff going for us and now we're just gonna tear these guys apart here with the offense down so that's that's i think i think that's probably one of the best parts about getting this cluster right here because yeah it's just like it's just massive amounts of damage um yeah as we're trying to focus on x23 as well um keep in mind that uh um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to disrupt the shield 
uh, security as well. Uh, I find that, you know what, um, as long as you can keep ripping his, uh, his, uh, his, his taunt off, it's, it's fine. You can leave him alone. Um, there's multiple ways you can rip it off, especially if he's got the, the vulnerability tag on him. But like I said already, um, wouldn't be a bad idea if you wanted to hit that little disruption there. Unfortunately, if you hit it right there, it just kind of it kind of just stops those two characters. And I, I don't know if that's the best use of that ability, but uh, to each their own, to each their own. So I'm making everybody bleed like crazy here. And uh, like I said already, I, th I think once two or three of these guys drop, we should get Emma Frost dropping as well. And by then, I'm hoping my stun is back up and uh, I'll, I'll be able to hopefully stun her because yeah, she is a monster of a character. We're gonna save the ability block there as well for Emma Frost. Uh, reason why she is so bad is because she rips our buffs uh, she debuffs, removes all this stuff. So, I mean, it's crazy. She's like our kryptonite. And then on top of that, um, she heals like crazy too. So, I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So, anyways, um, yeah, I think these guys on this side is pretty controlled here. So, we're going to, we're going to, actually, I think we're going to switch targets here for a little bit. We're going to focus on this side now because those guys are pretty squishy. Actually, you know what? Let's take off Venom. Uh, we don't want Venom sticking around here too much because when Scream and uh, Symbiote Spidey drop, um, I, I think it's in Scream's passive where, uh, don't quote me on it, but, uh, you know, when a, when a, uh, when a symbiote character goes down or, or they get low health, then she applies the speed up to everybody, right? I, I forget the exact uh, passive on it, but uh, I remember it was somewhere along those lines. So we want to make sure we can get rid of her or him first, so that way Scream doesn't benefit uh, Venom, because that would suck for us uh, royally. So that's kind of why, uh, that's kind of why we're doing that. And, uh, and as you guys can see here, we're getting pretty, we're getting pretty close here. We got everything recharged now. Okay. That's going to take out two characters. Star Lord's gone as well. We only got Iron Man left over, which isn't bad. Um, yeah. Okay. We're going to, we're going to try to, I, I'd like to, uh, do the speed reduction on this whole group right here. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're just going to apply this here so we can get ourselves some protection and some evasion. Evasion, sweet. Okay, now we're gonna stun Emma Frost. Hopefully this works. Uh, she also has a tendency to resist that, so keep that in mind. Now, of course, the shield uh, security gets in our way, so that kind of sucks, but that's fine. We're gonna spread this off to there. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna apply this. Speed reduction here. And yeah, let's take out the scraps while Emma Frost is stunned. So that's kind of nice there. Um... Let's do the little burst there. That might take care of some of these guys. So Super Truth should go down after this. I was I was hoping to take him down, so then he just gives us a little bit more extra, um, you know, a little extra jump in the in the speed. So that's what I was hoping for there. So do the offense down. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so Emma Frost is coming now. Oh boy. Okay, so now we gotta. What we want to do here is we want to make sure we can take care of some of these guys before we take care of Emma Frost, cause. She hits like a wall, like, oh, geez. Yeah, she hits hard. Uh, you guys will see here. She's going to rip all our buffs off. Um, as you guys can already see here, it's already becoming an issue. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going for Symbiote Spidey. We want, we don't want him stunning us. So she does the debuff removal. Crap. So that's expected. That's expected. That's fine. It's when she blinds and she rips everything off of us is which is it's that's gonna suck so that's uh that's what we're trying to take care of uh we're trying to take care of symbiote spidey before that happens and look at how fast she is like look it's almost her turn like it's crazy okay they apply the speed reduction crud okay iron man does his thing thank goodness i didn't that didn't really hurt that bad and now she's gonna blind one of us i think she's gonna go for symbiote spidey because for some reason i don't know why maybe it's in the algorithm but for some reason she likes targeting him i don't know why i don't know why so we're gonna keep going for uh, her because she's right next to uh, she's right next to screen as well. Okay, keep that down. Get the speed up there. Thank you very much. Okay, got some bleeds going there. You know what? I'm gonna do the ability block. Maybe this will work out. Nope, that did not work out. I was hoping it would. That's okay. We're gonna maybe get some bleeds. Look at that. She just ugh, just wipes everything out. Like it's crazy. Luckily for us, we have an Iron Man there, which is kind of like useless. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I think he's useless. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it doesn't burn me. Okay, uh, we got the stun ready to go, but I'm just trying to wait till she's off her immunity. Um, and now we can focus on uh, Iron Man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll keep going here. We're gonna save. We're gonna save the special there because she's gonna blind us next. Okay, so we'll apply the uh, apply the vulnerability back. Yeah, you got you guys. As you guys can see here, like this is why she is such a crazy hard character to deal with. And and again, if you don't have the right characters, you can be stuck attacking her for days. Like it's it's crazy. So she's gonna do her blind. Um. Oh wait, maybe she already used the blind. Okay, never mind. I thought for some reason. Okay. Oh, there we go. See there. Now she goes. Uh, same symbiote Spidey again, which is just the weirdest thing ever. He, she always goes for him. So my best advice: um, wait till he's blinded to use a stun, because then uh, then it works out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna apply the debuffs back on us or the, the buffs. Sorry, not debuffs. I'm getting confused here now. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hopefully tear her apart now because it is, it is technically four on one, but she is just she's crazy. She's crazy. And this is where if you don't have the right characters, you can be attacking her for days. So as you guys can see here, she's gonna do her thing again. We'll try to wipe off the vulnerability. Like, like my goodness, like look at this. She's just like there's. Anyway, we're we're gonna bring back uh, Scream. So hopefully that helps us out a little bit. But yeah, she is just crazy. She doesn't have the uh, like. Oh jeez, look at this. We'll keep we'll keep going here. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you guys other than the fact that, yeah, this is how, if some people are using four characters, um, yeah, this is how they get probably maximum damage. Because, like, look, we've got four, we've got five symbiotes, uh, we've got, we got five guys attacking, and she's she's still holding her own against us. Like, it's crazy. The only way uh, that I've noticed that you can stop her is your stun has to land. So, I mean, again, our stun doesn't land, which really sucks, but when she's off her diamond form, you just gotta hit her like yeah you just gotta hit her like there's no tomorrow because it's crazy like look at this look look this this legit like she is a she is a monster i mean no wonder people call call her uh, the god god mode emma or whatever uh, for this node but i mean like yeah and then once she goes back on her diamond mode like look at this like uh she's just like her barrier is so massive like look we're, we're trying to get through it right now it's halfway through get some damage there okay all right, get some heals back. Thank you. Luckily for us, because it takes us so long to kill her. I mean, it, she almost gets our, you know, our, um, our deep, you know, our abilities back for the next wave. And the last wave is, oh, the last wave is not uh, anything to, you know, that that that's also. Uh, I think I think when I did this the first time, it took me four, three or four attacks, uh, just against emma and then when i got to the last wave that took about the last six tries which is like crazy like uh it's just crazy so you could be, you can be stuck on this part forever if you don't have the right characters and that's kind of why people are deciding if you if you want to go night nurse or if you want to go punisher because yeah if you don't have enough damage um which obviously you guys can see here you can kind of see why right like it's crazy we can we can do a ton of damage here and uh and it wouldn't matter like we've got five symbiotes um, these guys are ready for doom raids and yet here we are at a stalemate with Emma Frost like it's it's absolutely crazy um, Maybe I would get more damage if I had some more uh, If I had more striker on or something, uh, I have no idea, but look 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 at this. This is just crazy. We're we're just attacking her here and uh, Yeah, really the only way we have to, we can get through to her is that we have to land that stun Which is right now because now she just did it and uh, let me just see if I can get through here. Uh, if Symbiote Spidey gets to his turn, we're going to throw the stun here. And, of course, she resisted. Oh, God. Okay. So, we're, we'll just keep attacking. Um, of course, I want to save Screams. Uh, his, uh, her, excuse me, her, uh, her, her, you know, her, her special uh, and ultimate for this wave here. But, yeah, this is, this is also a really tricky wave here because now uh, we have another Jessica Jones prom. So, same thing here we're going to ultimate here um, the important thing about this one is just making sure uh, we can apply those debuffs early on um, unfortunately jj is going to remove all those debuffs but the uh, you know it's just get those hits in early um, uh, really all we can do is we can hope for the ability block if the ability block works out great if it doesn't mm, not the end of the world we just got to hope for the best here uh, I, we still have a full set team here, and that's kind of our advantage. Um, we got the evasions, we got the immunity, all that good stuff. Also, Black Bolt, if he kills uh, any of the uh, symbiotes, just keep in mind that uh, um, they're not coming back. And of course, he resisted that offense down. So I, I try to, um, 
I try to make it so that uh, yeah, I try to make it so that we can get some hits in before she does the, the yeah, debuff removal. But uh, sometimes it doesn't always work. So I mean, I, once you guys get through the first wave, it's not bad. And then uh, of course, uh, then you get the problem of running into JJ on this one, which is also a problem. So we're uh, oh she didn't alt okay or she didn't use her cleanse, which sucks because now. Um, yeah, now I want to, uh, I want to spread the stuff on this next turn, but I guess not. So we'll, we'll just keep targeting her. That's fine. We've got lots of buffs on our side. Uh, the defense up, excuse me, is probably the most important part. Otherwise, uh, your, your symbiotes are going to get like one shotted by every character here. Like it's crazy how much damage they do. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just slowly tickling these guys and now they're ripping our buffs off. So once they start ripping our buffs off, I have to start doing something because we have to start spreading attacks and getting some of these out. Oh, and then JJ does her thing. Oh, gosh. Okay. And this is where it would have been nice to have an anti... Uh, or not anti-venom, but it would have been nice to have Simba out stun because um, I find that the slow really helps and uh, uh, we've got one turn left. Hopefully we can get there. If not, we can just two shot this one. It's no big deal. But yeah, it's uh, like I said already, this is a tough node, guys. Uh, very, very tough. And uh, it's, it's yeah, even with five symbiotes, it's not always guaranteed. Like, look, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. She just wiped us out in one shot. So we're not going to restart because uh, that's, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I, I, uh, I don't care enough to try to one shot it. We can go for the one, the second, the two shot option. But as you guys saw there, um, not bad for a first attack attempt and like i said already a 35 mil out of 42 so i mean yeah you you can see why that emma frost once you're going at it you can pretty much maximize so much attack just attacking her back and forth like it's crazy um that's probably how some of these other guys got stuck and you just end up trying to try to kill emma frost by stunning her correctly anyways all right guys so that's our first uh that's our first attack attempt and uh yeah we'll get back to this uh when our uh, team resets but uh, yeah, hopefully it gives you guys an idea. Like, I mean, like I said already, um, it's uh, it's disappointing. But uh, if you can't get, you know, all the symbiotes, I would recommend trying to prioritize symbiote Spidey and Anti-Venom first. And then, like I said, if you can get a third, I'd recommend uh, Scream. Definitely not Carnage. Carnage just doesn't have much of a role to play um, unless you got the full team. But definitely Scream or Venom. And then uh, as a fourth, I'd probably go Night Nurse. Or uh, if, you know, if you guys have a really beefed out Punisher, uh, he he probably he probably do okay as well. But uh, like I said already, um, kind of depends on what characters you have leveled, that sort of thing. I would I would personally go Night Nurse just because she's she's skilled, uh, she heals, she's really good for Doom raids, and of course she's on the Shadowland teams. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. And uh, like I said, we will uh, I'll attach the uh, second attack attempt once we get that sorted what's going on guys it's your boy as we're back and uh this is the uh pretty much uh we we're gonna be going with our second attack attempt here the first time we uh we got in there 35 mil got through the last wave got through the emma frost and uh and i didn't want to reset it again so i figured you know what uh um, you guys get the gist of it uh it's definitely possible obviously uh, as a one or two shot but uh um, gonna be difficult even with five symbiotes. Uh, as I already alluded to, uh, if you guys can only afford to bring in the four characters, um, try to make as most of them, uh, with the symbiotes as possible. I'll uh, link in the description where uh, someone was actually, uh, this, this guy, I actually liked his video. Um, he had four symbiotes, very similar setup. I had the first go around and, uh, he basically got to the last wave. Uh, except with only four characters versus five. So I thought that was really impressive. So I just have his link in the description there. Had to give him a shout out for that. And now uh, let's take a little quick look here. Uh, we got alted by Black Bolt and that basically put us, that basically halted our attack attempt there. So, I mean, um, I think, you know, we got to the last eight guys. That's pretty, I think that's a win-win. In this case, uh, we want to apply the defense down here. So that way when we get to Antivenom's turn, uh, he can apply those buffs to everybody on the team. Uh, let's let's give us some offense up as well. So that's uh, of course we got to apply the offense down to them, and then uh, we'll get that as the uh, as a bonus uh, bonus buff. Um, 
And then, yeah, yeah, that gives us a really good start, I think. Uh, right right now, I think we've got lots of buffs. we got lots of heals. Uh, we got some offense up for extra increased damage. Hopefully Venom can rip uh, Captain America's taunt off. Great. Good stuff there. And now, uh, thank goodness we have the defense up there. Otherwise, I think uh, I'm pretty sure Scream would get one shot right there. And then, of course, you also have to worry about Black Bolt's pot passive as well. Because if he kills you... Um, they're not coming back. So unfortunately, because of his passive, revive does not work. So keep that in mind. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we're we'll going to apply the uh, the speed reduction on this side because uh, we want to make sure we can uh, contain Black Bolt. I'm more afraid of Black Bolt uh, versus, versus JJ. So in this case, uh, we want to make sure because of the last attempt, uh, we want to make sure we can at least, uh, we can at least uh, control this side. Um... Just trying to think if I should spread some debuffs off. Yeah, this is, uh, you, you know what, let's take the offense up. Oh, try to take the offense up. I guess that didn't work. Uh, okay, so we'll keep going at the Miss Marvel side uh, just because uh, uh, it is, you know, we got some buffs, uh, debuffs there we can spread. So let's do the stun on Black Bolt as well here so we can apply some speed downs. Good stuff. That'll slow them down a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, I think uh, we'll keep attacking Miss Marvel. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take Black Bolt here. Maybe apply some offense down on him. So there we go. I got some bleeds going at least. Uh, not the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll attack Scream there. I love the chain attacks. Uh, most people have her as a striker, but I find that because uh, she hits so many targets, uh, I think Raider is probably one of the better ISOs for her. But uh, again, that's that's what I find worked. Uh, the ability block doesn't seem to work against JJ, so maybe don't waste your guys' attack. I always try because there's that off chance it might work, but man, her uh, her resistance is just crazy. It's off the charts. So unfortunately, we never get it going there. Even on our first attack attempt, I think we tried. Uh, just doesn't work. So we'll try to rip off the offense up. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, so we'll we'll go for Black Bolt. Maybe apply some offense downs on him. Hopefully with anti venom, and uh, we'll get some uh, defense down. Uh, yeah, he's he's pretty. Yeah, Black Bolt's got a lot of crazy resistance too. So unfortunately, that's just a, how the way that goes. But uh, we got one down. We got seven to go. Hopefully, we can finish this one off today. I don't. I really don't want to go for another attack. Um, we should be able to just two shot it. Uh, obviously, we couldn't one shot it, but we should be able to two shot this one. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll keep attacking him. See if that. Yeah, we got some we got some debuffs on him now, so that's good. Uh, Captain America, you are a pain in the butt. But yeah, yeah, check out the uh, check out the video uh, I have in my description there. It's another, it's another, just a shout out to him. Uh, he he's another content creator I found when I was trying to do some research of my own, and uh, he was able to four uh, four person to this to this wave. So I thought that was quite impressive. Uh, obviously, the RNG uh, plays such a key factor, but uh, very similar to when I had ran this the first time. And it took a few. It took a lot of tries before I even got to Emma Frost. But he was actually able to take her down and get to the last wave. So I mean, that was actually pretty impressive. But yeah, links in the description for you guys if you want to check that out. Uh, maybe even give his video a like. Um, I, I thought it was. I thought it was really cool. So it's really nice to see that. Uh, of course, I'm using five characters, so that's that is. Uh, it is quite a bit easier with five versus four. But if you can go with four, uh, that's the way to go. Oh. Uh, I thought we were going to wipe there. That was close. Good good thing we had some defense up and some evasions. Uh, luckily, we also had the... I want to say we had the offense down. I'm kind of trying to remember here now. He, he went to his turn already, so his buffs are already gone. But his debuffs are already gone. But but yeah, so far, I think we'll see we'll see what happens here. But yeah, it's just we're tickling these guys. And I mean, it's a, it's a bad wave. We've got, we've got Black Bolts and JJs and X-23s. And these are all... Uh, these are all crazy characters on uh, standalone on their own. So, so of course together they're they're a pretty, a pretty, pretty, pretty powerful wave, right? Uh, oh, so our our anti venom goes down unfortunately. So we might have to restart this, but uh, uh, let's see how this goes. I, I have a feeling we might be okay here because uh, we do have uh, we, we, a we have black bolt stunned, and now we got some uh, some debuff. Uh, removal there as well and some speed reduction so that's great we're gonna apply more debuffs to lengthen those up and uh, i do see that captain america's low so that's good jj's low so i, I think we can we can uh, probably apply some pressure here on this side and see what we can do here first just to kind of bring some of these guys down and give us a little bit more speed up on our side of things um 
Also, I, I, I we, we have lots of vulnerabilities thanks to Scream and uh, Spidey, so that's kind of nice for us. And now, because uh, Anti Venom's dead, uh, that means the only striker we've got is uh, Venom, and uh, that just that just means he can capitalize on all the bleeds. So, so that's good. That's it's a good and a bad thing, I guess. But, but yeah, unfortunately, I wish it was somebody else that went down. Um, in the, oh, and I guess I should also mention, yeah, if, if Black Bolt kills with his passive, you can't revive. But uh, I think I think in this case where uh, Captain Marvel took down Anti-Venom, technically, if we had a revive on the team, uh, technically we could we would be okay. Uh, we could bring bring him back if we had a you know somebody else that revives. That's a city character. I'm not I'm not thinking of anybody here. I don't. I don't think there is any character that can do that. Actually, wait. No, no. That's no. I'm just thinking of Doctor Strange, maybe. But no, he's a. Pretty sure he's a cosmic. Um, Night Nurse can't revive, so we're gonna stun again here. Sorry, Black Bolt. Uh, we're not letting you have a turn. Um, now we're down to four guys. Uh, JJ finally dropped. Uh, same with Captain America. So that's good for us. Uh, and then now we can kind of get some stuff going here. I think we'll take out Captain Marvel. Uh, and of course attacking her right now in her binary form probably isn't the smartest thing to do, uh, but whatever uh, Oh, there we go. Now she goes off. We'll see if we can chain some bleeds. Oh Nice, so we got another this is nice. Thank you scream So that's gonna help us out a little bit and we'll apply some more uh, some more bleeds as well and uh, lengthen those debuffs for us And let's see if we can take care of these x-23s. So right now. Yes, we don't have anti-venom, but uh just, uh, all about making uh all about taking advantage of the situation and uh, we do have uh we, we don't really care about the next wave because this is the last uh city node so it doesn't really matter if anti-venom dies but uh yeah i was a bit worried there i thought maybe we had to restart but it looks like we should be okay here i think once we kill black bolt and there's just uh x23s um hopefully you know i'm not trying to jinx us but uh hopefully we, we got this i think we got this in the bag here all right and uh and yeah like i said like uh Definitely, um, I don't know if even if I did four characters and I got to this wave just like that video uh, I'm talking about in the description. Um, I am not 100% sure if you can one-shot it with four characters. I got to Emma Frost the first time I went through. And uh, I'm just trying to remember here. Uh, yeah, I got through the first time and it still took me a total of 10 tries. I think, I think seven or eight of the attacks were on this wave because uh, I had no idea who to go for and uh, because we didn't have Venom in our first go around uh, yeah Black Bolt was just one-shotting everybody like he was he was one-shotting everybody and uh, and it was it was brutal it was brutal to watch and basically um, I would be trying to throw in some of these characters in there just as a sacrificial wave so that way you can kind of prep for the next day but yeah it was a it was brutal so definitely for sure I'm enjoying the presence of uh, Venom here because he's given us that defense up permanently almost. And uh, and that, that damage mitigation is like 50%. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, it helps so much. Uh, of course, we probably didn't need to stun. But we're not taking any chances here. And uh, as you guys can see here, we're uh, pretty much got this one in the bag now. Um, and at, like I said already, if, if, try to see if you can get as much symbiotes for, uh, for this node. Uh, obviously, I know their resources are pretty costly, but... Uh, Night Nurse is a good option if you guys are looking for a fourth. If you've only got three symbiotes and you need a fourth, and then of course uh, Punisher is also uh, Punisher is a good choice as well because uh, he's also skilled. Um, but yeah, yeah, tough node guys, tough node, and uh, we're all finished here. We're all we're all finished with 12. Uh, as you guys can see here, two attacks. First attack was 35, and then uh, the second one here we just did was 14, almost 15 worth of damage but yeah all right guys so that's our two shot attack attack now i can start with the legendary nodes and finish off this run here but uh all right guys thank you for watching and as always guys happy gaming